Good, thank you. Congratulations, we've got a pair of Jingle Ball tickets for you. It's sold out. You're in this Saturday at the Nokia Theater, LA Live, plus the Seacrest Holiday Must Have present, the HP Mini 110 laptop by Studio Tord Bucci. Slim, lightweight enough to fit into a Merce or a small bag. Nice. <laughs> I've got one of those. I saw in London. <laughs> Hang on. Check this out. On air with Ryan Seacrest continues next. Isa? Standing right here, and all my friends are jumping for joy because we all love these Nick Jonas. I don't want you to get hurt. We're just waiting for you to come back and recover from that. Um, Nick is going to perform "Jump for Joy." Nick's about to perform. He's going on tour, kicking off January second. The debut album, Nick Jonas and the Administration, in stores February second. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, live. Nick Jonas and the Administer. Exactly. Uh, this is the first song I wrote for this record. It's called "The Rose Garden." Um, hope you like it. Here we go. <laughs> she was brought into this world. Out of a beautiful mistake When a mom was just a girl And her daddy didn't stay She was working at age nine At the flower shop in town Working not just to survive his life was throwing her around In the rose garden Where the rain is falling And the thorns are shopping The rose garden Yeah, the rose garden She was young but not naive Always was beyond her years Hoping that no one would see Every time she dried her tears High in the rose garden Where the rain is falling And the thorns are shopping The rose garden Don't let those pears fall Don't let them fall on you Don't let those petals fall Don't let them fall on you I know how hard that is at this hour, so you got to appreciate it. that was perfect at this hour. <laughs> Nick Jonas is performing live, and uh, just watching the two of you perform, there's great chemistry there. And Sonny, thinking about 
you and I know that a couple members from uh, Prince's band are in your band, right? The majority, yeah. Uh, the keyboard player's name is Tommy Barbarella. Um, Michael Bland played with Prince, plays drums, and then John Fields, our producer, is on bass. So, Sonny, you grew up with Prince, working with the guy. What impressed you about Nick? I think that he's just a young genius in training. I mean, he's just, it's phenomenal just even playing with him. Just some of the things that comes out of his mind when we're playing guitars together, it's like, Oh my God, you know, <laughs> it's like the clock is always ticking in his head as far as creativity, you know, so it's just beautiful. So he's got it. Yeah. Yeah, I think so it. too. I think you're right. Thanks, I mean, man. always great every time we see you. Uh, Nick, we're going to come back, wrap it up with you, and then let you hit the... This morning, Nick and the administration, I've got tickets for his January 26th show at the Wiltern coming up in just a second. 800-520-1027. Sarah and Santa Ana, you're on with Nick. Go ahead. Hi, Nick. Hello, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you doing? Very good, thank you. Um, so, how's it? I, I saw you on the Grammys last night, did you enjoy it? It was a lot of fun, thank you. It was uh, crazy to be up there. And to like you were song. having a great time up there. I, I was. Do you like the song? Um, yeah, I loved your song. I thought it, I thought it was great. And, um, you know, I love all the songs that you write. <laughs> thank you very much. Thanks for calling. Let's go to Simi Valley. You're on with us. Go ahead. Hi, is this Nick? Yes, it is. How are you doing? Fine. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Good, good, good. I wanted to just say as a mom, you guys are great role models and keep it up. You guys are wonderful. It's, it's really refreshing to see this for the kids these days. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. You're very welcome. We were at your uh, Staples Center concert recently, and uh, I took my daughter, and she was extremely excited to, uh, to to go, and you guys were wonderful. Your performance was fantastic. Thank you so much. It means a lot. Keep, keep up the great work, okay? Thank you. God bless. Thanks for listening. So will you do any JV songs? I think, I think yeah, we, we did one on the album. Uh, it's coming out in February, but uh, it's called Tonight. It's one of the songs on a little bit longer. And uh, we did it more of a broken down version. Um, we'll be playing it for the listeners later, I think. But yeah. um, on the tour, I think we might do one or two, maybe, maybe some things that are personal to me. So a little bit longer might be one of them. Black Keys, um, just some of those maybe. We'll see. Well, I tell you, I think this is great. You sound fantastic this morning, and uh, your you. fans are very excited to see you out on tour. So I know you're up on Twitter. You just started doing that because yes. you sent me the song first. I appreciate it. Absolutely. <laughs> How's that going? Have you, have you become I, addicted yet? I love the Twitter. I was, I was so, like, I'm sorry, I was so against it at first. Um, just when it first came out, I was like, no, never going to get into that. And, and uh, we started using it a little bit more as the Jonas Brothers, and, the, and then once I, I started this, I, I started to use it as my way to kind of connect with these fans, and it's amazing. So when people say, how do we know it's really Nick, what do you tell them? Um, I, I take pictures of things like that only I could you right. know, show. but uh, To verify it. Exactly, and, and it's cool. I think having that instant connection really helps for, for what we all do, and, and it's a lot of fun. So I read mine yes. before today. And one of the questions that your fans wanted answered was this. Yes. What's the status of your relationship like with Miley? And what's the status or your relationship like with Courtney Galliano? Uh, just friends with Miley and, and just friends with Courtney. I think that right now it's, it's all about the music for me. That's what I'm focusing on. Actually, with Miley, it's, it's, it's great to see that after you know, all the things that we've been through yeah. and you know, individually and, and together, um, we can still come out and be best friends. And that's a genuine answer. And uh, it's great. We're in a good place right now. So out on tour, your fans won't see a, uh, a date by your side? No, no date. They'll see Sunny. <laughs> yeah. By the way, if you end up dating Sunny at the end of this tour, we'll, we'll have a different conversation. That'd be pretty odd. <laughs> Nick Jonas, make sure you check him out. The album is coming out February 2nd. It's yes. called uh, Who I Am. And he's going to stick around. He's got a lot to do here with the listeners who want a chance to see him. That's happening here on Kiss. Thanks, bro, for coming. Thank you so much it. for having me. It's a, it's a pleasure. Good to see you. Sonny, I'll say what up to Randy for you, all right? Top stories, top of the hour.